Hi YouTube. Good morning. I hope you guys can hear me. I'm not talking too loud because my granddaughter is asleep. And anytime she hear me saying hi YouTube, this is terrible. What's going on? She can be sound asleep and she'll wake up. Um, she knows that I am recording or on my phone, and she loves to look at herself in the phone. She loves to do that. The reason why I'm here this morning, um, I have a number of things to do. I have a review to do for Antoine. I have a review to do for Antoine. So, um, um, Antoine sent me some products. One is an Amp and Go styling uh, wash and go gel. And the other one is the um, little, um, and it sent me three little small samples of that. And then they sent me one small sample of a hair mask. So what I'm going to do this morning is I'm going to wash and condition my hair. With Rickon Mega Soft. I'm gonna wash and condition my hair with that, and then um, I'm going to put the mask from Antoine on for about 15 minutes. I I may not let it stay on 15 minutes because my granddaughter may wake up. And um, yeah. So this video is not about Antoine. That'll be the next video that I post. However, um. This video is about the makeup look that I did yesterday. Today is Sunday. It's Sunday morning. It is 7.53. Sunday morning. And I wanted you all to see my makeup. I fell asleep again with my makeup on and my contacts in. I am not supposed to sleep in my contacts. My contacts are getting dirty. Um, this is the only pair of contacts that I have. I'm going to do another look, hopefully, later on today um, with um, um, I don't know if I'm going to use the Bobby Brown or if I'm going to use the um, Il Maquillage just to do a comparison, but this is the Bobby Brown foundation that is on my face. This is my first time using the Bobby Brown foundation, and you guys, I really like it. I really love it. Um, it looks like on camera, it looks like my skin. It does. And I was getting, I purchased Mac, and I purchased Mac. Um, um. Studio finish, a uh, Studio Plus, um, powder, Studio finish powder plus foundation. And I'm like, how is gonna be powder plus foundation? But that's what it was called, and it was in. Uh, it was too dark for me. It was too dark, so I took it back to Ulta and got a refund. And sad part about it is. They sent me two. Uh, they sent two of them. Um, by the time, because of everything that's going on with the mail, by the time I finally got the first package, the second package came like a a few a couple of days, few days later, and I don't know if it was just been held up or Alta had sent that expressed or something. I don't know, but um, you know. Their everybody's shipment is delayed. Everybody. So, with that being said, plus I have a wig review that I um, did an unboxing on Saturday too, um, showing you all. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. This wig that I ordered from a young lady on not online. Um, I watch her on Facebook, Andrea U N D R I A. And it has a lace right here around the forehead, but it doesn't have a lace around the perimeter of the front. 
and then um because it, it may just be a, um i guess they call i don't really know all these different little names for wigs and things like that it might just be a frontal maybe i don't know but why would you have lace up here and not around the rest of it and then it had like one two three in that direction up under the wig tracks about this small sewn up under the wig so there's hair coming from up under the wig one two three and a, like half inches of tracks on both sides i've been wearing wigs for about 25 years i've never seen that before and what i think happened is I think it may have been something maybe homemade or something like that. Maybe she made the wig herself. It was custom made for somebody or something. And maybe they returned it or didn't like it. It was on sale. Not clearance, but it was on sale for $75. And I needed a new wig so bad. You all have seen my wig. You know, if you've watched my channel, if you're new, hi, welcome. If not, thanks for coming back. So, you know, with that being said... I'm like, wait a minute. And then it has these little hairs. It's a center part, which I usually don't wear. But it has these little hairs sticking up at the top. And I know sometimes people will have this little thing. And they would do like this. Like a, a like look like deodorant. And a little small stick. And flyaways. They, okay, I'm going to say flyaways. But they are a little bit more. It's a little bit more than a flyaway. Because a flyaway may be like here and there, whatever. But it's just something. It's like sticking up at the top right there in that where the part is. Where, where the middle part is. And I'm like, what in the world is going on with this wig? I've never bought. I've had purchased wigs for $10, 20 $25. Okay, and I've never had a problem. It may take a minute for me to adjust to the way that it looks on me and to like it like it. I've had matting for the wig to mat up, especially in the back when it's rubbing up against your clothes and or you're sweating, things like that. But I have never had a wig that I purchased brand new with hair sticking up. I've never had a wig that I purchased that have flyaways. Now, after after a while because it's not a quality piece of hair not quality wig it's not human hair although it says so on the package it'll start to get frizzy especially down on the ends um this hair you cannot really brush or comb it because i think most of it some is like bonded together so i really can't explain it but the wig if you want to see it i put it on my head you know, for the original unboxing. Now, I'm not sure if I want the bundles because I bought bundles from her too. I bought two 12 inch body wave bundles from her. I then buy a closure because I um, couldn't afford it. So, the two bundles were $75, and the wig was $75. Now, I'm afraid to buy closure from her, because I just don't know how that's going to be. And she has the body wave closure. She has it. So, and I think I will have to buy the frontal instead of the closure. I'm not sure, but... But it's 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 just amazing because I was ready to wear my new hair. I was ready to wear my new hair to work this week and be all nice, neat, and cute. And because my old one is matted, it's sweaty, it smells. And once I start sweating back there on my hair, start sweating back there on my neck, you know the little the little you know whatever. You call it on the wig. It gets all wet and sweaty. And it starts to smell after a while. Um, and then I have a wig cap on. And the wig cap will start to sweat up under there. And the wig cap will start to smell. I mean, this is like every three days. I needed to wash my hair and my wig. And that's more than I wash my real hair. So, 
um yeah i just wanted to pop on here and show you my look i just got up this morning i have not washed my face i know you may say oh that's nasty um i do want to try the bobby brown again uh, if I wipe my face right now, very little foundation may come off because I didn't use a whole lot of it. Um, the only thing I don't like about the Bob Brown foundation, I'm not sure. I'm just going to say that my first initial reaction, I love it. I love the shade. I love the color. It's called Golden Almond. I love the way it looks. Um, I have a very, 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 as an African-American woman, of um, a woman of color, melanated woman, I have a very, very, um, my texture and skin tone, my skin, my complexion and my skin tone is, is not unusual, but it's unusual, meaning I'm, basically I am medium dark, basically I'm medium dark. Okay, I don't have any red undertones at all. And then I'm not neutral at all. So neutral, I believe, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, it's like half yellow, half red. I'm not neutral at all. So I think I'm on the cool side or even more yellow, which probably is cool. Um, some Most foundations are trying to make me warm and want to give me more of a red look that's not me you know when i get darker i'm just darker <clears throat> for the summer i'm just darker not redder so don't make me too warm don't make me too red but yeah this is my um juvia's place at the bottom this is my juvia's place taupe palette i don't like the palette let me tell you, let me say this i don't like the color scheme because the payoff, the colors, and all that, you know, Juvia's Place has quality makeup for excellent prices. But MAC, Morphe, all of them don't stand don't stand up to Juvia's. They really don't. So I don't even know why I keep buying um, MAC, Morphe, I mean Morphe and the rest of these BH Cosmetics, all these people, you know, during the pandemic that have these sales. Because they couldn't get enough stuff off the shelf. So now they got to sell it to us for the low low. Because uh, they just don't stand up to Juvia. Um, they don't stand up to the crayon case that, uh, that well either. I know somebody from the um, said they didn't like the crayon case. Because the I guess the payoff or something. Like the pigmentation wasn't good. It's good to me. I don't know about anybody else. But yeah. And then this purple color came from my boxy charm um violet boss essential two palette from the boxy charm so i ended up using a purple and a brown from that box and of course this is um a shimmer um because none of them um topes on juvia's palette has a name on it that i saw so that's Julius places up under the brow the brow the brow itself and this is the second time i've done this on purpose but of course i have to sleep like this kind of cute can't sleep too wild or whatever my eyebrows are still on this is the way i like for my eyebrows to look not too thick not too bushy you know not too much going on and my eyebrows are still on this is the crayon case and the crayon case pencil in the shade um bribery b-r-i-b-e-r-y bribery so it's a dark dark brown also um what was up under here my eyeliner was blackboard by the crayon case this wing liner is the um crayon case what is it stalk me Chalk me. I know my pressed powder is dust chalk in the color white. Excuse me, but this eyeliner, this um wing liner is the crayon case. And I like it better than El Maquillage. And it's it costs five dollars, five or six dollars 
So, I never did get a chance to try my crayon case mascara. Um, but I'll probably try it this weekend if I get a chance to do another look with my hair and my makeup. So, stay tuned for my entwine review. Um, thanks for watching. Good morning. And have a great day.